<sighs> you know, this is, uh, yeah, usually it's the best time of the, the week for me, but this is tough. This is tickets to my downfall. <laughs> it's a uh, little Machine Gun Kelly reference, my ex-stepson trance. He, uh, he got me into them and, um, boy, oh boy, look at this. This is uh, just an amazing highlight. I mean, I wish that I was this invincible. Look at this, just going through the fire and the flames. Oh, it is sweet to see, but... Yeah, he got me into them, Trance, and um, not his legal name, you know, we had a renaming ceremony, you know, why be, a, you know, someone, someone in the third when you could be Trance Austin, the one and only, but uh, that's a whole other issue, it was litigated in court, but going into the final quarter, look at this, Midas getting hit with those flames and Shell flying around the corner, I'm trying to be professional here, but, and Shell Carter going to that first place finish, like, incredible finish i guess but you know shell carter did his business here and i did predict a first a big big event from shell carter and look at this he's all over the track cbk drunk driving and i think we've all been there um especially when your house is a car um you know there's a lot of opportunity for that but shell carter nice nice event but man i just it's just been a a tough weekend for me <laughs> And this is just tough to relive. I mean, I've, I've been in the divorce courts and there's the man who absolutely fucked me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some inception going on. You know, he's in my dreams. He's saying, bet on lucky, you know, bet big money. And, you know, I don't know. There's something fishy going on. Wouldn't be surprised if it's an inception thing because hey, I just absolutely got fucked. I'm not going to miss words here, but look at Shell Carter just having that big weekend. As I say, I predicted him first in the standings and two first back to back. And uh, I'll take a pause here to be professional and, and just, wow, this is just a hell of a clip coming up. Just three of the stars of the sport being blown the heck up. And who's the culprit? No, none other than T-Money. And as a veteran move and some younger racers, some less experienced ones, finally getting a taste of what T-Money can give them a little bit of mission impossible here from her and it's just incredible to see i wish i could enjoy this more but here's the man again who absolutely ruined my life and he's not a nice man he said some things about me he said some things about my wives uh, my beautiful beautiful wives and man it is and we're gonna blow she can hardly race but man looking at the standings pamela my producer is not happy with this, how this is going uh, but Shell is in 22 points. He's just in a commanding spot. And, you know, King Midas in fourth place. What's that about? So let's look at this race. There's things going on. There's racers all over the track. And it's fun. It's freaky. It's wild. And look at this. That's how I was blindsided this weekend. But, you know, wish upon a shooting star. Isn't this one of the most magical sights you've ever seen on the track? Uh, not from a particularly great racer, but... Um, just a gorgeous scene. I mean, shooting across that nice guy, and there were many things I would like to wish for. Uh, many things that I would like to wish for. But um, looking at this event and veteran move by Shell Carter, he knows that blue shell's coming. King Midas should be better than this, but he's just gung ho. Maybe, you know, this is, I kind of understand where he's at, sort of wanting to be blown up on the track. But um, look at this Shell Carter. He's having fun out there. And another first, as I said, I predicted Shell Carter first in that ticket, and that was great. Here's a fun little thing from Bebo. Just recovery, recovery, recovery. King Midas comes in second in the event. Ham in third, and a little surprising Bebo. Right now we've got Shell Carter one. I predicted that. Midas two on the ticket. That was what I predicted. And originally I thought, oh, I'm going to put Pam on as well. This would be the perfect ticket. But no, I had that dream. And as I say, he inceptioned me is my thinking and if it's not inception like in the movie it was at least suggestive hypnotic you know we, we talked in that studio and he was suggesting things to me and i think he did it knowing that he would screw me over and um i'm just returning the favor there but it's a tough place for her uh but look at this i mean shell i don't i don't mean to oh shell he's coming for it. i wish that shell had connected but Oh, well, actually, I don't because I, anyway, um, at the time I didn't, but now I wish it did. But look at Shell. He's coming so close to that. Oh, this is just like my ticket. This is just like it. He, 
he just falls apart at the very end. I was so close, and now I'm about to lose it all, even my gorgeous van, and uh, full of all my possessions. And anyway, uh, that was tough to relive, but we're going to move on. I'm going to be professional. And Shell Carter getting bumped around on the track. He's not having fun out there to start this event. King Midas also, this first gap was just, it was chaos, it was confusion. King Midas is just not doing what he wants to do. A little bit more difficulty, but you kind of expect this from Bebo, I'm not going to lie. You just don't expect these things from King Midas flying off the edge. And as we see Bloshi blowing up Shell Carter, this is a corner where lots of things happen and the race can change. Shell Carter definitely got his fair share on there, but... Up front, Pamela absolutely running away. And when you got the boom box, you've got the first place. It's basically over for you. And look at that. Shell Carter having a tough time on the track. I can't be too mad at him. He did his job on my ticket. But Pamela in first. Lucky. <laughs> here's, here's where he can sort of stay on the track. But Bebo falling right off. And we love to see that kind of stuff. And here's a shocking thing to see. Ninth place, everyone finished, struck with lightning. Maybe the gods are just mad at you for not being able to handle the track, not taking it seriously and tick-tocking your way across, you know, to fame rather than getting it through the track like he used to get it. But Pamela just running away with it, going into the second race. And this is where we start to see some animosity between the Carter brothers. We saw it on Sweet Sweet early on, those flames that Shell Carter was throwing backwards. But here's the three stars of this event coming over the gap, Midas, Pam and Slam. Shell Carter just struggling in the jungle today. And this is really just a theme for the week. Boomerang, shells, you name it. But this is a common sight. Those two coming in and one of them being blue shelled right before the finish line. Midas being the benefactor here. But here's one of the plays of the year in my mind. It's not flashy, but doing this kind of bumping to big brother Shell Carter, knocking him off the track. Man. That's the kind of thing that is an iconic moment for Slam Carter. And it is great to see going into the third race. And I mean, Pamela is, she's not in full control, but she's definitely got a nice little lead. Midas, he's blowing up that shell and he's blowing up Slam in the process too. And this is where chaos unfolds. This is just the lack of luck that Shell has. And <laughs> don't I share that with him? Uh, but look at that. That shell just flies around. I think Slam threw it and boomeranged it. Pretty incredible stuff. It was a nice little shot. Uh, but as I said, history repeats itself. The blue shell coming at the very last moment. And Midas is the one who is impacted negatively by it this time. Pam flying in and looking good crossing that line. A pretty dominant lead that she has right now. Slam Carter in second. Midas in third. Right now, Pamela is in the driver's seat. Nothing's guaranteed, but it would take a pretty big fall off the podium. She has been in the top three in every single race, and I don't think that's going to change. Looking at Slam Carter and Midas, though, there's some jockeying for position that could happen there, depending on how things shake out. Slam Carter just having the toughest weekend of his life, but still a million times better than the weekend that I had. Uh, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> And oh, the Carter brothers, it's just tough to see how far they've fallen. Their relationship seemingly in disrepair. And Shell Carter just really a magic first event. And then just a tough, tough second one. But Slam Carter going over that blue shell. Isn't that beautiful, people? I don't care. Uh, but Slam is just Mr. Invincible today. And it's... A little, I'm a little jealous, but look at this T-Money bumping Shell Carter in the final lap, blocking him getting back onto the track, and just absolutely ruining that final event. He had a chance for fourth place if he finished ahead of Lucky, but look at this. Bloshi coming in, covered in oil, and clinching that fifth spot above Shell Carter with a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. And what can you say? What can you say? <laughs> oh boy, I'm holding it together. Um, but look at this, the gorgeous MKS leaderboard. And Pamela, this is the halfway point of the season. Morton Construction with that Slam Pam combo is running away with it. And Pamela bearing some big fall off in the second half or a magic run by either King Midas or Shell Carter. I think that it's going to be a hard road for her to basically lose that spot. 
but there's a lot of competition for second. First place is definitely not out of grabs. Uh, it's not something that there's no way for them to get to, but it's going to take really a magic, magic weekend. Weekend after weekend, I think a streak of, you know, seven out of eight wins first places for either King Minus or Shell Carter, uh, unless Pamela also, you know, falls off and has some big events where she loses a lot of points. But, you know, let's say that Pamela is podiuming, getting that one, two, three. It's going to take six to seven first places by one of these racers. It's going to be tough, but there's a lot to, to really dive into here. Who's going to be on the podium? Is Slam Carter going to be coming up and maybe taking that Shell Carter spot? Is Lucky and T-Money, I mean, that's the most exciting thing, I think. That Lucky T-Money jockeying for position right now for that final Champions League spot. And that's what I'm really going to be watching. But hey, King Midas could have some magic in him still. He races so well, but it's shocking to think that he has not been on the podium since week one. But moving on, um, oh boy, you know, the, the odds with Mike Austin is what we used to do. Um, there's some legal things uh, right now that uh, the, the sponsors aren't happy with me. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with that. And um, we're going to be moving on to the headline with Mike Austin. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a little less gambling focused. Um, you're not going to be, you're unfortunately not going to be getting my insight into gambling, into the odds, into into those kind of things. But, you know, there were a number of, of issues that came up with that odd segment. Um, I, I know those producers read out a number of my quotes to me with lawyers present saying, you know, uh, it's like printing money. I, this is one way I described it. Uh, nothing's easier. Um, they said that that is technically, you know, putting them in some legal issues and I think back at Bet MK also was in the meeting and they were saying, you know, you're making gambling seem not that fun for people to see you go through this and gambling's fun. And I said, I think gambling's fun. And they said, no, no, no. <laughs> people look at you and they don't think gambling's fun. And I said, well, you know, they said, what did you say? And I said, I didn't say anything. I said, you know. Anyway, we're going to be doing the headlines and it's going to be fun. Um, it's just, it's a good time to sort of reflecting I'm a journalist and uh, you know I'm having fun here and and you know it, it, was, it wasn't that bad to be quite honest uh, what I went through but I'm gonna bounce back and that's you know they've called me the bounce back king for many reasons but uh, this one they're gonna be saying what a bounce back that was but you know let's dive into our first headline of the day and it's NASA and the family of the slain fire pilot suing Shell Carter for 50 million dollars and this is a big off track drama going on uh, for those of you who remember, last year, Shell Carter was testing out a space-age car. It exploded. Uh, his explanation of it was that the he told the fighter pilot not to push the pedal all the way to the floor, and uh, the fighter pilot did. The car exploded. Sounds like a Tesla. Uh, I follow the news. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, Shell Carter, he'd never received any punishment for it but nasa and the family have come together for a number of reasons nasa is pushing back and saying that shell carter never at any point had any affiliation with them aside from attending some you know nasa children's camps he was in his you know mid-20s when he's attending these he got in through a loophole uh, and you know I, I don't know too much about it but apparently he did sort of force his way into the camp um and, you know, after that, it, there's a lot of stuff that I, you know, I don't want to speak on for legal purposes, but NASA saying that he used his position, saying that he was working with NASA, the family is suing, you know, for defamation, for how Shell Carter's talked about the, the slain fighter pilot, you know, blue or purple heart, you know, kind of guy. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. But moving on to our next headline, Morton Construction at risk of losing millions as the Saudis pull support for two... Oh, didn't realize I thought this was the headline, not the quotes. Uh, but anyway, uh, the quote with Mike Austin. Okay, I'm not going to read that. But uh, Morton Construction, you know, from my understanding, there's a lot going on there with uh, how they were funding these events. They were funding the Waluigi and Mushroom Gorge uh, with an agreement that they were going to split the revenue afterwards. And I mean, the fact that it's pulled off the oily boy for, you know, safety concerns, I think that's going to be bad news for Morton Construction. They're on the hook for a lot of money. They funded these tracks quite a bit. And the Saudis, they're just going to write it off. It's not going to be a big deal. But 
uh, you know, something that is going to be interesting to follow. I know just as one of the race team leaders and somebody who's funding a lot of this MKS stuff, it'd be interesting to see how that impacts it. He's got a lot of debt, I think, but I think I see a lot of him in me. We're both fighters, we're both brawlers, we're both, you know, middle-aged men who like to, uh, you know, we stay young in our own ways. But uh, let's move on to the next headline. And, you know, this was after a heated weekend at the podium. You know, Slam Carter, cool as ever. Um, you know, he just says it's Slam now. And he's having that dork detox that I love to see. And he's distancing himself from Shell Carter, you know. And you saw that animosity on the track. And these brothers have been bickering behind the scenes. Shell Carter's been calling out Pam, you know, Slam's girlfriend, you know, in the press and on our show. And to be quite honest, it's finally boiled over and Slam has said, that's enough. You know, I'm doing a dork detox and we'll see how it goes because you look at those genetics and he's got those jock genetics and I love to see it. But let's get on to the next headline. And this is a headline I love to see. I'm coming straight for Lucky. It sounds like exactly what I'm going to do uh, when I see Lucky. I'm going to have to be restrained. I'm not going to be able to uh, hold myself back. I'm going to be taking him on. I'm going to be pounding my fists into, you know, just his face and body and and all that kind of stuff that you do when you are fighting a man uh, who has wronged you. But, you know, I'm coming straight for Lucky. Hers, her quote, uh, you know, it's a little bit more on the track and, and she's she's focusing in, she's getting ready to just make that push for Champions League. And she's taking on a total piece of shit. I'll, I'll tell you that much. So we're all rooting for Team Money to pull this one off. But let's move on to the final headline. And OPEC Plus credits epic blow she finish on the decision to increase oil supply. So. I don't know how accurate that is, but I think it's a nice PR spin. You know, they're saying we saw how epic and awesome that oil finish was. So, of course, of course, of course, it just makes sense for us to, I guess, just increase supply. People want more oil to do these epic blow she stunts. And you know, I've seen those TikTok kids where they're covering themselves in oil and they're driving their car and it's pretty dangerous and they get that little disclaimer on the bottom this is please do not do this this is a dangerous stunt and all these kind of things but it's trending on my page and um i'll tell you this much as somebody who's been covered in oil be covered in the right oil because if it's the wrong oil it's not coming off very well so uh, that's a story for another day but uh, i think that wraps up all the headlines and this is definitely a less destructive um uh segment but it's not as much fun and just because I'm not professionally gambling anymore and giving out my inside tips and all these kind of tricks uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to be doing it for fun. And um, I'd like to thank the people at BetMK for allowing me to stay in the metaverse. And, um, you know, I, I'm dreaming of a day that I can move into the metaverse and live in the metaverse. But for those days, I'm, you know, they're in the future and then the technology is not there yet. But but uh, for now, I do live in my in my moving truck that I'm renting as, as much as I can until I run out of money. But we're doing one day at a time, and it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun being Mike Austin. So, uh, d yeah. <laughs> <laughs>